next uh, announcement um, is a new Terraform module that we have and published uh, through the registry. And it might leave some of, your, some of you with your head scratching like, why are we doing this? So uh, this is a new Terraform module. We're calling it Terraform YAML config. It doesn't depend on any providers. It's just based on the Terraform core. Um, and it wraps the YAML uh, decode method uh, that you have in Terraform. But we do a few cool things with this. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example, first of all, why we came up with this module. And then I'll, I'll show a little bit how it works briefly. So the challenge that we've had as a company is codifying patterns and multiple sets of competing patterns for customers. So Terraform is a great tool for configuration as code or infrastructure as code. Um, and that's the way most people use it and you embed the architecture of what you're deploying in the Terraform code along with maybe some feature flags. An example would be maybe a module that implements um, AWS config rules for monitoring uh, for CIS compliance, or maybe you're integrating Datadog and you, you wanna have a lot of uh, monitors and configurations for here are the monitors for EKS, here are the monitors for RDS, here are the monitors for EC2s, etc. And the way it's conventionally been done in Terraform is you implement like a sub module for each one of those and you have lots of feature flags. But if you wanted to wrap that up in different kinds of configuration, like here is our recommended flags for CIS, here's our recommended flags for EKS, then it got hard for us to do that. And we've taken a, a, an approach, which is that we, we define the actual configuration now more and more as YAML, and we can centralize those YAML configurations as a catalog, and we can now distribute that catalog so anyone can pull it. So you can use our same module with different catalogs to get different predefined configurations. And this is how we're doing a lot of stuff now for customers. So what we have is this YAML uh, config module that lets us pull local configurations, lets us pull remote configurations uh, that are pinned at versions and lets us do interpolations on these. So these, these are actually passed through the template file function before we YAML decode them. So you can pass some parameters. So we have parameterized configurations that we can load on demand um, into our modules. We are typically, the way we use this module is in our root module. So if we go to Terraform, uh, AWS components, this, these are, uh, we've renamed what we call uh, root modules. We are now calling those components. Um, and in our components, that's where we use this module. So I think we might have an example here if I look at Datadog. So here we, uh, we, we load uh, the Datadog, uh, we, we load our configurations. We have our configurations that we wanna load uh, defined in YAML, uh, defined in a configuration file. I'll show you that in a second. And then we pass those to our Datadog monitor. So you see how composable these things are and how easy it is to pass. And then in our defaults here, we have an example. So then we load these catalogs of monitors. So you can see that as the community continues to contribute configurations for us, we can have a massive catalog of EC2 monitors, of uh, Aurora RDS monitors, of AK, uh, EKS monitors, etc. And that's what we are building up. Any questions on this strategy and why we're doing it? That's really cool. I was looking for something like that today, actually. That's pretty funny. No way. It, yeah. It's this well, Leibniz so and Descartes, always working on similar problems. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not, not quite as elaborate, but um, you know, I, I did eventually just get to the YAML and, uh, decode, and that seemed like it's probably going to get me uh, most yeah. of what I want. But this is pretty cool. So it seems like you guys are actually supporting like the, the is it the, the merging of multiple yaml files is that what i'm saying yeah yeah so we we support the merging uh, of multiple yaml files and also um uh, uh we are also adding a feature flag so this yaml module is foundational to us now we have a lot of foundational modules another foundational module is our null label another foundational module is our aws utils and this is a foundational module for uh, passing configuration. And what we are gonna add to it very soon is a feature flag 
that supports a custom, you know, YAML doesn't support imports, right? It supports YAML anchors. And by the way, YAML anchors are awesome for configuration and keeping your configs yeah. dry. Uh, also supported by Terraform. But we're adding a custom proprietary extension in valid YAML called imports. So you can have a list of imports there that we merge together. So you can have composable YAML files that are remote and local. And that's really important for us as a professional services company that needs to have economies of scale of configuration. For sure, for sure. And where are the template values coming from? So the, so in this case, so the well, template yeah, values, are you saying like the parameters we passed the template file? Yeah. Yeah, so those would be defined here, but they're totally optional. So right now we don't pass any, but here I could have another section that is parameters. So it could be like AWS root account ID. It could be, um, uh, you know, um, EKS pod threshold or something. I don't know, uh, making random things up. And those can be substituted into the templates. You know, this stuff could be done in native Terraform a little bit, but I really also like the fact that this YAML configuration becomes a more and more declarative way for us to express what we want to have provisioned as another abstraction on top of Terraform. Yeah, when is the madness going to stop? But YAML, YAML works across tools. We can use YAML with Helm file. We can use YAML with Terraform. We can use Tamil, YAML with our config, other configuration tools that we use. YAML is just a portable format. I like it. Mm. That's good. Cool. I'll, uh, I'll link to this example in the Office Hours channel. I'll link to the YAML module as well. Um, so you guys can check that out. Uh, can you open also uh, open the file, one of those YAMLs? How you, I, I'm just curious how you structure those. Uh, if you oh, yeah. Them. Yeah. So let's, let's take a look at one of those. Um, so a good example of that is um, we have now an SCP module. Uh, for service control policies. And this is a perfect example where you might have HIPAA service control policies. You might have uh, PCI or SOC or high trust or all these different things that you want to satisfy. And that's what we can accomplish with this. So right now we don't have those uh, specific um, standards defined, but here's an example for organization policies. And now we've defined uh, the SIDS for that the statement IDs. So we, we are we, here we're using, you know, more or less the Amazon uh, expected format for that. But we are also using it for Datadog. And we have and you see, so our convention is this, you look in the module. And you see a catalog. So this is our catalog of configurations that you can use with this module, you can create your own, we'll accept yours if you contribute them, we would love to have uh, high trust and you know PCI and HIPAA catalogs uh, available. Um, and then uh, for Datadog is another good example. We uh, for for Datadog, we borrowed the convention that um, Astro uses, uh, I'll, I'll explain, I've, I've mentioned Astro before, but this is, so you define a monitor, you give it a name, like uh, a resource name, and then you define all the parameters. This way, it's totally flexible, you can define your queries in Datadog however you want, and uh, these are our same defaults, but you can always fork it and have your own. Um, we could parameterize these by putting in dollar sign interpretation, interpolation values here. Um, that can be set when we load it using the YAML config module. And this somehow gets translated into Terraform HCL that creates like a metric alert resource or whatever? Exactly, yeah. That's cool. So you, you can see how like uh, anybody who wants to contribute, all they need to do is copy and paste a block like this, come up with their own query, bam. Um, and I, I find that is a very accessible way for um, other people to contribute to this. Uh, without creating ginormous Terraform modules. So the Terraform module just needs to be validate that it can implement these things, but then you do your checks uh, separately. And we're doing the same pattern with Ops Genie. This is like foundational to everything we're doing now is truly separating configuration from the business logic and not conflating those two in our Terraform modules.